Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Welcome back to part 2 of me building the modern boat house that we started building last week. So this is the second and final part. In this one we will finish up this modern boat house and we are right now working on the bottom level. And in the last video, which I will have a link in the description down below, we started the building, we finished up the first and second floor, and now we moved on to the last one, which is the basement floor. And I had this whole build was done, um, was inspired by a picture that I saw online that was of the 3D render of this house that had kind of this, um, underwater section there were underwater rooms that were all covered in glass and windows so going downstairs there was a bedroom and while you were going to sleep or waking up in the morning you would wake up to the view of the ocean or a pool and i thought it was really a really cool idea and that's something that i wanted to recreate in the sims 4 so i thought of making something similar that kind of turned into making a boathouse. So this was not initially going to be a boathouse, but it kind of turned into one as I was building it. So right now we are doing the bottom floor. And on this floor, there's this um, bar area. There's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a living area and a gym. So on this level, even though the house does not look that big on the outside, when you go in, it's actually pretty huge. And everything is kind of this big open space and um, everything needs to be sectioned off with panels and columns and stuff like that, not um, walls. This is the only floor that has full on full length walls going from from the ceiling to the floor and the rest of the uh, build the rest of the rooms and floors don't have that and um, this is a build that is very very um, practical for your bigger family sims uh, if you have a bigger family I think it would be perfect for them to live here because all of the beds are double beds and um, you can even have multiple generations living in here there's room for um, for more rooms, <laughs> there's room for uh, converting some of the bedrooms into something else if you would like. So I think this um, this build has a lot of options. I definitely think it's perfect for more um, for bigger families altogether. And um, the initial thought that I had building this was to have the master bedroom for the parents on the above level, on the top level, and the kids' rooms down here. So the kids' rooms, I had the idea that one of them, I had actually, I thought that this um, lot would be perfect for more creative sims. So I gave it, I think, the the home studio trade for the lot and the sunny aspect. So you would, it would be perfect for your painter sims, your musicians, your photographers. And the two rooms are very, very different. So I had the idea of having, say, two twins that would be um, living in uh, each of the bedrooms. And one of them would be really into music. One, you know, he will be, he or she may be a rebel and kind of more edgy and grungy. And that's why their room has a bit more of a um grungy feel to it you see what i made in just a second because i do end up changing what i just did for the room and it has a more a black with a dark blue color scheme which is very contrasting with the rest of the house because as i mentioned in part one the whole build has a very muted pastel kind of color scheme and um, this room was kind of the rebel of all of the rooms and had a very dark and edgy color scheme so i ended up putting a piano and some guitars in there and uh, some posters some more um 
grungy paintings and things like that and the other room I thought that that sim might be more of a painter so what I did there was I put in a easel and some paintings and I made it a lot more classic a lot less modern than the rest of the house just so each room would have its own personality and I I do realize that there are both rooms are kind of inconsistent compared to the rest of the room but I wanted it to look more well exactly that I wanted them to have more of their own personality and be um, well just their own rooms I guess and the teenagers because I did think that the kids would be teenagers actually and they would have more uh, say in the matter of what their rooms would look like and um, so yeah this is basically what goes on on the lower floor and there is a huge bar space in this uh, living area a few uh, boats here and there and there's this uh, area that is just a gym that can always be converted into something else and I do realize that having a couple of bathrooms because I do believe there's let's see there's two on this floor there's one toilet on the first floor and there's one bathroom on the last floor so that's a lot of plumbing for a boathouse i do realize that it it seems very very strange it seems strange to me as well but um i kind of had to put in so many bathrooms just because if you had guests or something you know you can't make them go through all of the kids' bedrooms or go through your bedroom just to get to the bathroom so i kind of had to snuck in sneak in a little um toilet area on the first floor right next to the kitchen so i don't think actually no i i've already put that in so you i don't think i would put it in the screenshots but just know that there is a bathroom area on the first floor as well and this floor like i don't i don't know i really wanted to keep the whole idea just like in the picture that I referenced I wanted the bedrooms to have a lot of windows so they will look into the water now personally I am absolutely terrified of the ocean and the water and just water in general it freaks me out and the idea of sleeping underwater is probably one of my worst nightmares so this house even though I love how it turned out, even though it's really pretty and the idea is really great, I would not be caught dead living here. Just not for me. And I would love to know if any of you guys have this kind of... It's almost irrational. Like, I, I so much dislike the ocean that when I go on vacation um, on the beach, I, I just never go into the ocean. I'm just... I, I can swim... And I remember as a kid, you know, that's all I wanted to do, be in the ocean, swim around. I even went to um, a coral reef once where we dived and watched sea life, the sea life there. But I don't know, it just, it, it freaks me out. Just the big unknown, it's, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm freaked out just living, just, just talking about it. It's like I'm already in in the water and I'm already freaking out so the, these kinds of rooms will definitely not be uh, for me but I would love to know if you guys would like living here because I know that there are people like my mom she loves the ocean she absolutely loves it it has been her dream to be on a cruise ship since as long as I can remember and um, she when she saw this she said she would love to to live on a boathouse like this one and just sleep underwater and things like that i would love to know if you're one of those people you know, like if you if you would love to sleep with the fishes literally anyway enough of my irrational fear talk um this little area is something that i would do in earlier builds on my uh channel or more like on my gallery account um, I would love to put some, like a, uh, what was it called? A pantry. It's kind of a, uh, a room, a storage room. Let's just call it a storage room, but it is like a pantry. And I thought it would be really cool to sneak in one of those there. 
and uh yeah so on this area we are figuring out exactly where what can go and where the gym can be and the area that was left open i just put a huge piano there because ever since sims i think two was it two maybe it was three but anytime i would have too much of the open space and do much free space i would just put a piano there and that's something that i've talked to one of my best friends and she also plays the sims and that's something that's definitely something that she would do as well every time there's just too much space there boop a piano yay space filled <laughs> And something else that I did um, in this build was use a lot of those pipes that came with city living and get together because it just made sense to have them on the boat house. <laughs> I don't know, every time I say it, I get a kind of a flashback to some of uh, uh, Family Guy episodes when Peter says Roadhouse and he always accents on that roadhouse and i don't know every time i say boathouse it's like boathouse <laughs> anybody anybody know what i'm talking about <laughs> um so yeah we're doing the gym right now and um i actually built this um a few months ago and i mentioned this in the previous video but i built this um in january and it is well, i don't know what time I'm gonna upload this but it's the end of April as I'm recording it and um, you know I had some doubts about this like I built this and I thought it was really cool and I would definitely upload it I would definitely put it on my channel there weren't there even weren't that many boat houses um, built on this channel because I did notice that there were a few and then I somehow decided that I don't like it for some reason I just didn't like it and I decided that I'm not gonna upload it. And then I, after a while, I got inspired again and I was like, okay, so if it's the interior that I don't like, I'll just go in and I'll redo the interior part that I don't like. So I go in and start circling around and start looking around and it ends up at, that I like it. I like the interior and I like the exterior. I like, I just, I like everything about it. I don't know why I am so insecure about it. But yeah, I went through this phase where I was just, yes, I like it, no, I don't, yes, I like it, no, I don't, and I don't know, I just decided to risk it and upload it, so I would love to hear what you guys think about it, and if you enjoyed it, because I do like how it turned out, and also, you can, you can download all of my builds on the gallery, just search for Kali builds and everything will pop up. And also, I do have a Tumblr account and a uh, Sims resource account. So if you, for some reason, do not have access to the gallery while you're playing Sims 4, you can always download them from, uh, well, at least some of them, some of the builds from the Sims resource website. And you can find all of my socials down below in the description. I also have um the tumblr page linked i also have some custom content on the, the um, tumblr page right now i don't have a lot i just have two objects that i made some time ago and i am working on making more of them uh, for those of you who know i don't use custom content in my builds if, at the moment i just um i've met i've talked about this in previous videos but i just find using custom content even though i i love it and i do use it when i play on my own but when it comes to my builds i just don't use it because it, it limits me as weird as that may sound it, i feel like it kind of I can be less creative when I use custom content. For instance, if I were to build, um, I don't know, if I were to build, say, something that we don't have in the game, like a pets room or something, something for pets, I would not be able to do it without custom content. So I do like the idea of having to push myself and having to uh, make myself 
accomplish what I want without using custom content. So I do find it that it kind of develops my creativity more. It makes me um, see all of the objects that we have, all of the possible possibilities that we already have, just see them more clearly. And I think that's important, at least for me, in my builds, I want to push myself and I want to create something that is different, Ju not just use everything that is ready and done as custom content. That said, I do plan on making some co custom content and uploading maybe showcases or something on this channel because I don't know if I've mentioned this ever before, but I am a 3D artist and I am um, just trying to make it in the world and I do know how to create custom content um, so I do want to make more and make more for the users and the players and the people who play with custom content I think that would be great and this channel would be the perfect place to sort of advertise what I've, I've created and um, so yeah you I'm not making any promises but it is definitely something that I want to do uh, on this channel so if you'd like to stay tuned um well yeah if you'd like to stay tuned that'd be great and right now we are finishing up the exterior just putting in some lights because we want this room to light up this this whole build to light up a bit because it was very dark both on the outside and the inside and this is something that i really really liked as an idea putting these two yoga mats next to each other kind of like uh, beach towels and having this little stereo some books that maybe are magazines and some sunscreen let's just pretend that soap is sunscreen and i thought that was really cool of an idea and uh it looked like you can sunbathe on the deck and uh yeah i also put these seating areas to make it finish up a bit and i do love the um I love the screenshots, I gotta be honest. It's so pretty when you go in to take screenshots, this whole build is really pretty. And all of the angles, just, I don't know, I love it. I just love how it turned out. I would love to know how, what you guys uh, think about this, if you enjoyed it, if you think that I should have used something differently or did something differently. I would love to hear your opinion. And um, yeah, we are about to get into some screenshots soon. We do have a couple of minutes left. I'm not really sure what we end up doing um, at the end. But we, oh yeah, the palm trees. Yes, the palm trees are a must. After all, this is supposed to be like the ocean. At first, I was going to put these rocks all around the pool to make it seem like it's a lake or something. But then I thought that it was way too much work and it just did not seem as um, natural as I would like it to seem. So I gave up on that idea. I just put in a few rocks here and there, some landscaping, some parent terrain oh my God. some terrain painting and just the finishing touches so i think i'm gonna cut this voiceover short right here we are about to get into the screenshots and right at the end so if you like this video give a thumbs up if you want to see more subscribe and don't be afraid to comment down below give your opinion and what you think of this build and any other build that i have on this channel so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.